mindfulness, archery, and evolution of both. To understand mindfulness and how you use it with archery, you have to understand the dynamics of the bow and how you use it. So I'm going to start with what types of bows are there. There's the long bow, recurve, and then the compound. These are the main types of bows that we have today in the U.S. and all over the world. To understand how we came from a straight piece of wood to the advancement of a compound is unbelievable. Longbow was most widely used by the Celts in Wales around 1180 Central Era. It wasn't used until the English military around 1300. To understand the evolution, this single bow right here has anywhere from 150 to 185 feet per second air capacity. That lets me be able to shoot an arrow anywhere from 150 feet per second through that genre. This was a huge tool all over the world from hunting to just meditation. The next bow we have is the recurve. Recurve bow has bend back limbs that stores more energy and as you see it's just like a spring. Whenever you pull back comes out. So therefore it has more feet per second than the long bow. Anywhere from 190 to 210. That is a huge advancement. The most known recurve is a Mongolian bow. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of it. A Mongolian bow. It's not many made not many found originals. Does anybody know why? <laughs> of course. Uh, well, um, it was because the, uh, they were built to, in case someone tried to draw it back, if they got it, they easy to work. Yes. Mongolian bow looks like a horseshoe when it is not strong. Therefore, when settlers came in and found it, guess what? They drew it back, and once they drew it, the limb snapped off. Well, the Mongolian bow is a cavalry bow. This means that it's mounted on horseback, and it's able to fire arrows downrange at an intense capacity. To be a Mongolian archer, you have to put three arrows downrange at 200 yards in 1.25 seconds. So, this gives it the speech of the ancient Uzi, because it's small, but very fast. <laughs> Compound bow. Personally, my favorite. <laughs> Compound bow uses levers, pulleys, and anywhere from a stabilizer to even a sight. With a compound bow, the FBS is potentially from 281, that is the lowest it can go, to 390. As you see, when you pull back, there's a let off system. So instead of pulling 75 pounds, just always, as you do with a recurve or a long bow, you can have 45 pullback once you're back. This means that archers have more time to think about their shot and prepare their body. This brings me into mindfulness. According to ADA, 
40,000 40, Americans have anxiety. That is just adults. No children, no teenagers. Those people have been diagnosed. Well, you're thinking, who else has anxiety? Who in this room has anxiety? Who in this room has been diagnosed? Awesome. Well, <laughs> not as many as I hope. <laughs> With bows, you have to understand what you're shooting, what you're doing with your body. To go with that clear shot, you have to do square breathing. That is taking a deep breath in, holding it for however long, from three seconds to two seconds, letting it out and holding it. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is the basic human ability to be fully present, aware of where you are, what you are doing, and not being overreacted or overwhelmed by what is going on around us. I have anxiety. I was at Brew High School my first freshman year. I couldn't get any schoolwork done. I was horrible. I had resource classes at the end of my periods to help me get my homework done. But each day, I most likely came home with homework. I was failing and I didn't know what to do. So I took up archery more seriously than I have ever before. I went outside, shot anywhere from 100 to 200 arrows. And I could feel myself as I shot, my body relaxing. Everything in my body. Just one with a bow. After every arrow I put down range, I felt myself, all right, one more set, one more body, and I'll be ready to do my work. Mindfulness and archery, even, has even helped PTSD members of the military come home with. Any archery you ask today, what do you think they say? It's a good day on the range. How do you use mindfulness with bow? This goes all the way back to the square breathing and also advancements. It doesn't matter what bow you use for mindfulness. It is the fully present of your body being with the bow. So understand this. Just imagine yourself in your own utopia. What this means is when you're out there pulling back above, seeing that you have a clear shot, seeing that you are present with yourself, that there is nobody else around you, gives you a feeling like no other. The accomplishments accomplishments you have created for yourself. And I can say archery has helped me out throughout my whole life. I want to leave you with this. I want to challenge everybody in this room just to be aware of what they've been through and how they can help each other. This goes from everything. From basketball to even stressful meetings. You can be there for each other, just as my bow's been here for me.